I'm frequently asked, when would you use linfatinib? And it's hard to answer that question based on secondary endpoints. But nonetheless, uh, this is a quite a potent agent. Uh, the targets of linfatinib uh, are beyond just the VEGF receptor and the MAP kinase pathway. They include the FGFR, the fibroblast growth factor receptor axis. Um, and this may offer unique uh, mechanism of action. So with that said, uh, the higher response rate and the higher PFS may make linvatinib a good option for patients who have symptoms, uh, who need an immediate response, or who may not make it to subsequent lines of therapy and may need a bigger punch up front, so to speak. So that may be a unique thing about linvatinib. In regards to safety profile, uh, these, uh, these two tyrosine kinase inhibitors, sorafenib and linvatinib, actually had overlapping toxicities except in two categories, uh, higher risk of hypertension with linfatinib and higher risk of hand foot skin reaction with sorafenib. So if that matters to the specific patient, that could be taken into consideration as well.